Yeah. Are there particular people that you really respect as marketing voices or particular companies that you kind of hold up and go, they're like, they're the, you know, any, anybody in particular stand out for you? I know um, when we were developing some of our vision and some of our strategy, um, a lot of, if you work with professionals who are building your website or something, they'll ask you for samples, mm -hmm. like who, what's a shot in the dark, you know. And um, it was really, it took a lot of looking to really land on something. But just speaking locally, I think we respect the voice of, I mean, and I speak on behalf of every business locally, because I think everybody would say this, but Biltmore, Grove Park, mm. Sierra Nevada, you know, I think what all of those places have in common are, it, just locally, um, it's just a very um, respectable, confident, it's not gimmicky, mm -hmm. it's not flashy, um, but there's like, you trust that brand. Um, and so I think the way they all present themselves, which I, again, I think every, every business locally should be like, we would love to be like the Biltmore. Obviously you would, I mean, we all would, but I think, you know, we really respected their image and voice mm -hmm. um, and just how they present themselves. I think if we were like, if I had to have a goal, of how I presented myself. I would love to come off like that, you know, like that would be a great. Um, so I think now again, every industry that's going to be so different, but it's, it is helpful to have kind of those beacons of like who, who, who would I want to be grouped in with, you yeah. know? Yeah. yeah.